Jerry Lyons was charged Tuesday with vehicular manslaughter, DUI, and hit and run in this deadly eight-car pileup at Lake Merced and Higuera in San Francisco. Authorities say Lyons was under the influence of a drug when he ran a red light in a stolen Ford Explorer and slammed into a group of cars, killing pedestrian Sheria Muzioka. Muzioka leaves behind his wife and their young son. Back in December, the CHP says Lyons was also drunk and ran a red light while in a stolen car, but DHS Boudin did not immediately file charges, saying he was waiting for toxicology tests. Now that Lyons is in custody, he's now been charged with DUI in that earlier wreck. Tony Montoya, president of the San Francisco Police Union, says the DA should have acted more aggressively. You know, until he's ready to put a victim's first policy out there and not a suspect's first policy, um, unfortunately, you're going to continue to see crime go unchecked. The crash has similarities to one on New Year's Eve when police say Troy McAllister was also drunk and in a stolen car when he ran a red light at second and mission, killing two women. Montoya questions whether both tragedies could have been prevented. Now, whether is Mr. McAllister or Mr. Lyons had consequences or accountability for some of the prior stuff, maybe it would not have led up to where they were free. Chase of Bodine. Uh, there's, I don't see what his office could have done differently, quite candidly. San Mateo County DA Steve Wagstaff, whose office charged Lyons with a number of unrelated misdemeanor crimes, says Lyons most likely would not have been in custody anyway because of the pandemic and legal requirements. Everybody knows that I'm the type that wants to uh, public safety, lock people up, it keeps us safe. I think Mr. Bodine's approach in this one was, from what everything that I've been able to read, was absolutely reasonable. Lyons did not enter a plea. He's being held without bail until a detention hearing on Thursday. Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.